Hello world, let's see, we gotta get this audio. That's a little loud. Okay. Hey gang, it's me again. It's your boy, Will. I'm back playing some Scrabble for the next couple hours. Hey, Chess Bunzo, and hello to GT Man. Thank you guys for your early attendance here on today's stream. I've been racking my brains for something kind of out of the norm to do, but it's hard. It's hard. Uh, I think uh, we're going to go back to the tried and true formula of just playing a bunch of games, chatting with you guys about Scrabble and God knows what else. It feels like we get into some weird, fun areas. Um, Anyway, I'm just playing the easy computer, which should probably be a win for me, but as more people filter in and potentially we get some game requests, I will be, of course, happy to accept those. So I hope everybody's doing well today. Uh, with every passing day, it gets closer to July when the action really ramps up in Scrabble land, so I'm very excited for that. Um, I wonder if I have any better play than this, which that's a fun word, a former coin of Spain. So um, drawing bingos early and often. I think all three of my plays in this game have been bingos. So you see the score is 214 to 22 against the easy bot. Maybe I should just, uh, oh, I see it's a little off center here. Um, maybe I should make this stream be about seeing if I can get to like 800 points against the easy bot or something like that. As we see the play of wife for six, <laughs> uh, yes. an early bunzo. That's right. I don't know if that's, I mean, maybe that's certainly different. I don't know if that's actually of any interest to people. Um, but, uh, yeah, it would be kind of fun to see if I could get, some kind of a massive, how many points I could get. But I do want to play people as well. So maybe I'll do that in between, uh, in between games. So, um, oh, Alates, that's a nice spot. I do want to use my W if I can. I don't know if I have a great way of doing that. This is English US, so I can't play something like this, which would be very nice for me here. How can I use my... W. I don't know. I guess I could play it here if I wanted. Um, but yeah, I mean, this it's a very different experience playing against the easy bot because it's just there's no expectation that it's going to play in these spots, right? Like normally against the Grandmaster bot, it's going to pick high scoring plays even if it picks weird strategic plays. And this is obviously going to be where it wants to play. But in this situation, it's not really the case. So I could probably get away with something like this. And maybe I hit a bigger play in that spot later. I don't know. Actually, I probably should have played something here. Yeah, so I should have played AW here instead, maybe, because then I would have... Oh, never mind. I would have had Eteolate through the T, but I still actually have Aerolite. So as long as that spot... Oh! <laughs> Wow, easy computer. Maybe it maybe better than I gave it credit for. Um, now I don't know about that, but it managed to block my bingo, unfortunately. So we're gonna have to come up with something else. And I feel like something like this is pretty good. Let's do that. All right. Well, we're getting further away from bingoing here. Hey Dan, how are you? Good afternoon to you as well. Assuming I well, I I always assume similar time zones to my own, but of course there there are plenty of time zones one could be in and still be able to watch the stream here. But uh, yes, oil <laughs> oil for seven. So uh, that looks like a play that I could punish here. Um, about to say I spotted a good bingo, Oleander. Damn, that's that's actually very impressive. Um, given that I'm gonna assume that was not the result of studying words, I assume that was that was like 
raw ability finding that, which is highly impressive. That's really pretty excellent to find under those circumstances. Um, so I would love to get a play here that goes all the way, right? If I had an A, I could play Batik here for 62. I would love to get a K here, but I don't think I have, I don't believe I have a play that fits the K in that spot. I don't have any other good consonants there. So I almost want to keep the K for that reason, just because it's so good there. You know what? I'm going to play Wove and just go for something ending in K. Okay, so we got it. So I have the A, and now I can play this for 62, which is effectively effectively a bingo score. I got to make sure I have something else. Oh, Steely Dan, yes. Um, I have fr I have always enjoyed Steely Dan. I have friends that are way, way into it and have listened to a massive amount of uh, Steely Dan. I haven't listened to as much, but I, I love their weird lyrics and awesome. They just have great harmony as well. So fun. I'm, I'm a fan, though not I wouldn't say a super fan. I just don't have enough exposure to, to call myself a super fan, but definitely a fan. Hello, the man from Acne. Acme, how are you? Um, hope you're doing well. So yeah, I'm sitting here. It's June 21st, and in a few weeks' time, there's going to be pretty serious Scrabble. I am not 100% sure yet where you will be able to watch that Scrabble. I'm pretty sure and hopeful that it will be here on this Twitch channel. But yeah, um, July 9th through 13th is the Word Cup, WGPO's championship event. And then July 22nd to 27th, something like that, is um, the NASPA Scrabble Players Championship. So two events that... I mean, they look more or less <laughs> equally terrifying to me. I would say, if anything, actually, the the UK English, the Collins division of the um, the Word Cup, WGPO Word Cup, looks absolutely crazy good. One of the better fields I've ever seen assembled. I am the 10th seed. I am a 10 seed there. Not a number that I'm accustomed to seeing for myself. It's been a while since I was a 10 seed. Um, but that is the case. So, oh, wow. <laughs> I got to hope that this stays open. Um, so we'll see. Uh, that This would be a nice 86-pointer. Okay, there we go. We're going to get it, too. So, um Zoner for 80, that I think seems pretty clear. <laughs> so the score, the score is now 477 to 85. So I think my win chances are, are pretty good, but we'll see. We'll see if the easy computer can start the comeback. Guys, that ain't going to do it. Um, I guess now, though, the question is, can I do anything better than this with my Q? Probably not. I think this will do. So let's just keep it going. See if we can maybe get one more bingo somewhere. I don't know. I don't think it's going to be possible. The computer is going to have to open something. I can't play anything ending in D here. This would be otherwise a decent sevens lane to hit. So, yeah, I'm trying to, I'm trying to do as much preparation as I can for these big events coming up although oh quite on f2 was was good that was a, that was a solid play so suggestion of quite in this spot that's at least as good certainly better points um, who knows what it is positionally but that that would have been better for sure I just rushed it a bit so yeah for sure that was a good idea let me get my drawing on stream tool here so yeah i'm i'm doing my best to prepare um i don't really have a ton of time to get extra prep in 
But I think I, I'm in good enough form right now that it's not that big of a deal. I think I should be mostly fine and able to play at the level that I'm accustomed to. So if you guys are watching along in, in July on stream and I happen to make an appearance there as the, the person that you're watching, hopefully I can put a good show forward for everyone. This is my hope. I think I should be able to. So, all right, four in the bag. What should I do here? Um, just to be greedy and try to get some kind of extra bingos. There's no hooks for anything. I guess no S hook on here. Computers, computer's been burning through S's. So I think the computer's played all four S's in this game and hasn't really, you know, hammered any of them pretty, pretty much. So, um, so, all right, if I was going to be greedy and try to get some extra bingo here, how would I do it? Would I play egg, ag? How do I do this? E, D, do I just do like this and hope I draw a bingo through the E? That doesn't seem very likely. That's I'm just having a hard time making more space. Maybe I want to draw a hook here and I can play like something here for a good score. That's still, that's not very inspiring. It's not even a bingo. All right, uh, I'm gonna give up the dream of bingoing again and just play hedge and see what we get. And we'll move on. And hopefully somebody comes forward that would like to play that is also able to play. Um, no. Fingers crossed for no snafus with the site today. Should be okay, I hope, I think. So, so this uh, this is a game, the score 532 to 118. That makes me feel pretty, pretty good. But again, it was against the easy computer, so I'm not, I'm not sure how happy to feel. I'll, I'll feel better if I beat somebody that's a little more strategically... Um, adept than the easy bot but uh yeah it could be a good challenge to try to, to see if i can get into the six or seven hundred point threshold against this thing but i think it's maybe a little more entertaining to watch me actually play a human being that knows what they're doing a bit okay so there you have it it's 564 to 153 so in the absence of in the absence of another challenge, I'm happy to just start a different game, but maybe we'll play the Grandmaster instead on 15 minutes, so it's a little tougher, a little bit tougher. Oh, well, uh, Hog at K15, yeah, that would have been probably, that would have been good to play something down in the corner. Good suggestions for sure. Um, all right, we'll start one here and just see if this will go. Okay, so right away, a little tougher. <laughs> <laughs> but I should be able to bingo here. So I have, I definitely have some bingos. Sonatina, at the very least. Do I have anything? I have Etonias. Maybe that, does that fit here? Yeah, it does. So this fits here. This is very scary though. I don't, I don't think I love this. This is such an easy spot to hit. 70 points, that's nice. I guess that's a little bit better than whatever I'm getting for this. 66, but this doesn't create anything remotely as damaging as, the, as that scoring spot. It's, I think it's definitely worth a four-point sacrifice. So got to see if there's any G play. Hey, Jake, how are you? How's it going? Um... Yes, ostinato. That's right. That's a that's a fun word for sure. It's close to ostinato and ostinati. Nice. Yeah, Jake, I was just about to ask, is this going to be one of these tantalizing situations where we get to say hi to you and then you got to go cuz you got other stuff going on? And I guess the answer is no. You're you're sticking around. Which is great news for us all. Uh okay, I'll just play sonatina. I think this is all right. Okay, and then I drew this. Any Pokemon fans out there for uh, Vulpix? So Vulpine, I think, means like a fox. You know, definitely a, 
a word that I've seen before and it fits alongside here as long as I get to oh okay well I'm not sure do I rejoice do I rejoice that my spot wasn't blocked if it means that my opponent just bingoed with the second blank for 106 points <laughs> I don't know I'm not sure whether that's really cause for celebration it's a nice word though calking Calking, yeah, to process the tracing of a design. Although this is this definition that you see here is completely different. It's completely different. To model a word's meaning upon that of an analogous word in another language. I guess that somewhat has to do with tracing, but uh, those look like very different words to me. <laughs> hey, Jeremy, nice to see you. Hope you're doing well today. Um... So Volpine is my play. Uh, oh, I reminded Dan to go extend his Pokemon Go daily streak. Yeah, so um, I remember playing. I remember, man, nice play. Computer again. Ap Haplites extending ES. Beautiful. Um, but I remember playing Pokemon Go in the first year or two of its release. I definitely had a lot of fun playing, and I remember playing at the National Scrabble Championship. That was like the first time that I was around a bunch of other people that were playing. And I remember the event center where all of the games were being played was a like a serious gym that various uh, Scrabble players were, you know, battling to to be master of. And I just remember Muffin with Muffin with Tentacles. I remember Muffin with Tentacles, Snorlax, just uh, just crushing it and being in constant, constantly at the top of the uh, gym at Fort Wayne, Indiana. But I didn't play too much beyond release. I did have fun with it. I did have fun with Pokemon Go in the early in the early going. But when I was a kid, I only ever played the first whatever first generation or maybe the second generation um of those games and i don't i don't have a real connection to the like the next batches of pokemon the way i do with the original 150 so um definitely enjoyed the game it's very cool it's a great way to to get a little exercise while you're gaming as well which i know a lot of people enjoy um but uh, yeah, I haven't haven't played it in a while. <laughs> Man, I'm getting I'm getting hammered here. Grandmaster Computer is just not letting me. It's not letting me live here. <laughs> Scrabble, go to the polls. That's right. Pokemon, go to the polls. A classic classic line. I I want to say Hillary Clinton said that or some was that her campaign that said that um I can't remember um not to get too embroiled here but I think Axe is all right here I can't see any other really good X play let's just go for it and hope that we don't get crushed in this spot this could be really bad actually with both y's oxy would fit here for a bazillion points and there's enough o's like you know this might not have been i don't know what else i was supposed to do here but this is a very high likelihood oh wow i'm i'm very lucky very very high likelihood of getting crushed in that spot somehow i didn't but i also didn't draw anything there uh so that doesn't make me feel great. I have to play this and hope. So this could be my way back in the game here. The computer obviously didn't have a Y or an O because if it did, it would have played Zany here. You would see Zany be played for sure. Stanza, Z-A-N. If the computer had a Y, it would have played here for sure because that is a massive, massive score. So it didn't do that and maybe I have a chance it also, if it had an O, it would have played Zona. So the computer did not have an O or Y. However, it had eight chances of getting one on a five-tile pick. So my odds are very poor here. Um, <laughs> nice, Jeremy. <laughs> uh, 
That's a great, oh, what a zinger that is. All right, so um, yeah, hopefully, oh, this is bad. I feel like, so I'm close. I'm now down by 23, but the odds of getting hit in this spot for like 50 plus are very bad for me. So mm, just got to hope for the best, I suppose. Let's see, what's the computer got? I'm very concerned. Okay, you know what? That's that's as good of an outcome as I could have reasonably hoped for here. Getting getting hit for 36 points only in that spot, that doesn't feel great, but it's actually better than I could. That that's that's not the worst case scenario at all. That's pretty good. So, I definitely feel like I'm somewhat committed to getting a bingo here, but the nice thing is that I have some open space to do it between these spots. Wow, forgive my line. I got to do better with this line. There we go. So this D is very easy to hit. This A is also really nice and free floating. So I'd rather, unless I have a really compelling play that that block, like if I have a really high scoring play that blocks one of those two spots, I would consider it, but I don't think I have such a play. So I really want to get rid of my W's here. So I think wall feels like a good choice to do that for 30. There's also this. I could play Watt for 31, but again, that keeps a W. I really prefer the W just not, it's just not a good enough bingo tile um, to keep here. Whereas if I do this, and waller isn't a word just for the record, um, I could play baller or something, but then, I mean, wall is just a better play. I don't, the W's are just not good enough. So a uh, suggestion of waters, which I do understand. The issue with that is that I do, I really need to bingo here and keeping the B and the W together is difficult to achieve that objective. So I'm, I'm really needing some good balance between the tiles that I have left over the B isn't the best bingo tile, but it also pairs decently well with some of this other stuff. So let's see what we get. Okay, not great, but I wonder if there's, maybe I have a chance to score really well with the J somehow. Uh, unfortunately, oh man, that hurts. Cause I was gonna try to play Obeyer in that spot and see if I could outscore the computer, but that does not, feel like it's possible anymore and now i'm really committed to getting a bingo here um unfortunately i probably have to play this even though e y is not a good leave and i'm blocking up the board but i basically just have to hope of drawing something to the i or the d which is not particularly likely <laughs> be joyer thank you jake i love to bring joy to other people through playing scrabble and talking about Scrabble and doing Scrabble stuff. So if I have bejoyed you all, that makes me feel good. Um, yeah, Jerboa feels like it's pretty good, as as GT Man points out. So we'll do this. Yeah, that's not going to get it done. So I'm close. I'm close on the scoreboard, but it's not close enough. Even with these nice high-scoring letters, I don't think I'll be able to do this. <laughs> against against my will is that a pun for me like i am your will oh man what a nice look at that what a good scoring play that is or blocking play that is how did it know to do that it obviously didn't this was just like the best i think just the highest scoring play it has so I have this, this scores 44. I'm losing by way more than that. So I'm pretty sure that this game is uh, pretty well lost for me here, unless I can come up with like some, some way of, is there some way of going out after these draws that score well? Like what happens if I draw the O? Zeroer, that's not a word, nor is it how I would spell that word if I could. Order doesn't fit. Yeah, maybe I'm supposed to draw, what if I play Hayer instead and draw an O? I think it's too late for me. 
I think you all, I think it's too late for me. I think you all should go ahead without me because I'm done for. Go on without me. The computer's got me. You should all save yourself while you can. I will, I'll buy as much time as I can for you guys to escape. But also don't escape. Please stay here and watch me for the full two hours. <laughs> um, yeah, I have no idea. Herd, herdy. Hydra, Hade, Hade. This could be, if there was like an A, this would be intriguing just because I could draw Y-A-R-E-R -E in this spot. So I would need like, yeah, this isn't going to work. Okay, let's just play Hey E. I think this cuts the gap as much as I can. I drew O-O. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I'm not. I don't think there's a good Z play here. It's just gonna play Bog. It's gonna play Bo or Gob, I should say. It's gonna play Gob in this spot, almost certainly. And then I don't think I have an outplay. Well, I get oh, Mob. Okay, yes, that makes sense. It does have D O G G. I don't think that's gonna be the easiest to go out with. What is it going to do with that? I'm not sure. Um, I don't even have a hook to ab, unfortunately, or else I could. If I had a hook to ab, that would be actually interesting to score something with like, oh, you know, something here would score decently well, but I'm still in trouble. Uh, all right, let's just do, I'm pretty sure there's nothing to be done about this. So I will do, I don't know. Let's just play Rue here so that I can play Seer and Trod on the next turn. <laughs> yes. Yeah, With a, that's right. Got to fight. Got to fight back with a hook to the ab, as boxers do. Okay. Well, yeah. It, it puts the puts the nail in the coffin there. Good job to the computer, and we got a challenge from Jake, which I will be more than happy to accept. All right. So I beat the easy computer by several hundred points. I lost to the grandmaster computer, and now we're gonna play our buddy Jaco Music. And let's do it. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I was trying to think about, like, what, what would be fun to do, right? Like, what would be a fun thing? I could hop into the queue. I was doing that before. Hop into the, the main matchmaking queue and just play some people and not play any bingos against them. Or play only, quote-unquote, common words or something like that, right? Because the people in there are a little bit less seasoned. Um, and then maybe I could do it like a prank show at the end and be like, hey, guess what? You were on twitch.tv slash Scrabble the whole time, like practical jokers. And they would be like, I don't know what that is. <laughs> and I would say, well, you should come follow us. And they would probably block me. Um, all right. Defect. Uh, I don't think this has eight letter words. Let me think though. It looks kind of plausible with a couple of these letters. Yeah, defected is definitely top of mind for such a huge score. I don't think I can get any better than this, but I'm just quickly looking for bingos and I don't believe I'm likely to have them. So I'm going to trust my gut here and just play defected and hope for the best. And this looks pretty good too. There are bingos here. Anopias, Anopsia, and Paisano. And surely something else. Something through the T. D. Oh, yeah, this. 
So our nice play by Jake, but I'm about to, yeah, I can't imagine having a better bingo than this. Diapason, a burst of sound. <laughs> so that's good luck for me to have that word available. Um, would have liked to have seen that a little quicker. That's that's kind. I know that's crazy to say. If you're th- if you're saying to yourself, "How did he see that word?" and are you and if you're saying to yourself, "Wow, he's saying he's unhappy with the speed at which he saw that word," I know it sounds a little crazy. But basically, in order to feel like I'm performing my best at the big events coming up in July, I really do want to see words like seven and eight letter words on my rack pretty much instantaneously. That's my goal. Like I don't want to have to work at all to find those words. I want them to come to me as if they were completely second nature. So I can spend all my time picking plays instead of searching for plays. So I know I know it sounds odd. Okay, um, play of ABBA for Jake. I'm only up by not even 20. Not even 20. I have QU on the rack. Um, and VW as well. So there's there's a lot of clunk going on here. A lot of clunk that makes me uneasy. It's going to be difficult to use my Q on this turn. There's no A for Quake or anything like that. This is an appealing little spot here, but there's nothing that quite fits anyway. Um, this is a tricky one. I. Don't, I mean, a play like this leaving Q-U-K-V feels really, that's rough. That's rough. Those. That's a lot of garbage. But it's probably enough points to play, so I may have to do that. Uh, I don't know. This is tough. Oh, Wika's. Wika's is an interesting idea. That scores 24. B-V is, is basically no better. Hey, Bunzo, got your request. We will jump into that as soon as I finish with Jake here. Um, I'm going to play Webb, I guess. This is very uninspiring, but just going to hope hope to draw something a little better. Okay, I should be able to do something here. Um, qui- I blocked my own quiver. Maybe there's some other way. Quick, quack, not quite. So, yeah, yeah, last week I was a little unfocused. There was at least one, I can remember from last week, I had an issue where my rack was C-U-R-A-B-L blank. And I was lamenting the fact that curably did not play, and I missed a a spot to play curable. (laughs) I was like, oh, too bad, I can't play curably. So I'm going to try not to miss anything quite so obvious this time, but uh, it's, it is what it is. Streaming, is. streaming is just the littlest nerf where that can happen to you sometimes, and it, it's, it's fine. I'm not that worried. So, all right. Do I play Hive here for 34, setting up a spot to play like QUI something? So if I play Hive... It certainly incentivizes Jake to play through this H and block, but if he happens to have a bingo somewhere else, right? Let's say he has a bingo hooking durations or through the E of defected, and he doesn't have one through the H of hive. He's always going to play in those other places, and it gives me a chance to hit a QUI play here. So that's one thought. I could also, oh, you know, I just have to play Quirk. Okay, never mind. (laughs) I have to play Quirk. It's significantly better. 48 points, way more. It gets rid of the the Q and the U. It doesn't open anything. This is definitely, well, it opens the S hook, but that's okay. Uh, I have to live with that. A six-letter S hook to Quirk is definitely not great. Oh, my God, I got hit by my own favorite word, retinas. Thank you very much for the follower for the follow by the way, Alexander Gape. Appreciate that. 
Um, actually, what happened to the widget here? We got to move this slightly. There, that's probably better. Um, appreciate you coming aboard. Um, we are playing Scrabble, as the channel name might indicate. For now, um, most of what you'll find on this channel is myself and also our fellow Scrabble content creator, Josh Sokol, Axer Typo. We hop on and play viewers on our website, playscrabble.com. But, of course, we also want to have a nice heavy dose of over-the-board Scrabble coverage, which I personally think can be super exciting when done well. Um... So yeah, that's what you can expect to see here. But I've been hit with retinas. That's that that's much respect to Jake for the correct choice. There were a lot of things he could have done here. He could have played retains and all kinds of other stuff as my doorbell just rang. I'm not 100% sure. What's Should I do a poll? Answer, should I answer the doorbell? It's probably too late once I set the poll up. <laughs> Once I set this poll up, let me just see if I can see who this is. Well, they're going to have to leave a note. Because I can't see who it is. I don't see any car. Somebody's going to, this is, this is my work. Okay. So, so, all right. Somebody just banged, somebody just banged on the door again. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. <laughs> very, per very persistent guy, pest control guy. Definitely uh, not wanting to take no for an answer of uh, telling me all about the different pests that he can deal with. Uh, and I told him to come back later. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. A critter. Critter with the hurtful, hurtful assessment of of me as a pest. Um, but hey, I understand. Correct answer is I have cats. Yeah, that's true. I told him he could come back later, but it's going to be a real quick conversation later when he comes back. Unfortunately, I'm so sorry. But all right, what should I do here? I want to keep my E. I'm not sure I can do that. I think Verge is probably what I have to play. Another idea would be to just play Verger for 27. That avoids, well, it doesn't avoid the same score. I guess the only thing it avoids is, the nice thing about this is with Verge here, it puts the E out in space that's pretty easy to hit, which is always a no-no if you can avoid it. Hey Scrabble, hey Blasto, wow, what's, hey, hey everybody. Or, I don't know, I don't know, it's like, uh, no, that's more of a, uh, that's a problematic hand motion. That's, this is more of like a, hey everybody, um, not, not looking to do any kind of 
weird hand signals here. I think I do kind of like this though. I don't I don't like the long term implications of leaving this e out in space. This doesn't really do too. I mean, the i is hittable, but this r is not that easy to hit. Requires a little specificity. The v is not a good bingo tile. And it scores the same without keeping an I, and I just don't want to duplicate the I's. It feels like I'm going to use, it feels like anything I do is going to use the E, so I might as well lean into it. I guess I could revisit this spot too. Nah, I can't. I don't think I can play 34 leaving RRG. Oh man, extra typo would be so sad. This is not valid, or else I would play this for sure. I'm pretty sure this is valid in Collins though. Actually, I don't know about that. I got to think about that. Verged. Yeah, that I, I immediately doubted myself, hopefully for good reason. All right, so let's just play Verger here. This seems okay. You'll see what we get. Whoa. Oh man, Y-E-R isn't good in this. And I can't play it here because it's not Collins. This this would fit here. I can still play this though. Which honestly, <laughs> who cares, right? If I can't get a bingo and this and this is and this is what I get instead, <laughs> this is this really so bad? 82, 82 points, non-bingo. I would say that's pretty good. So I'll live with that. But man, I feel like there's definitely... Oh man, it would be a shame. There is, this is a word with this spelling. It just happens that this is not in the Merriam-Webster dictionary, even though it's in the NASPA one. A critter says, just played my first Scrabble 9. That's a wonderful feeling. That is really fun. Uh, not easy to do. It took me quite a while to, to do that myself. So well done. Oh, man. And that's that's a pretty legit one, too. Rationale. It's not a plural. It's not a plural. I mean, technically, it's a hook. It's an e-hook to rational, but that's way different than like, I would say the vast majority of nines that you'll see played are plural eights with an S at the end or verbs ending in ED. So seeing one that doesn't end in ED or S. Oh, <laughs> okay, Jake, putting me to the test, putting me to the test here. So <laughs> I don't. Now I'll prove to you guys that whimsy is good, right? So I can, this is a word. It just happens to not play on this particular board, I don't think. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yes, it does. Oh, shoot. The whole time, the whole time, it does fit. It does fit. 99 points. So as nice as the quirky hook is, I got to play for 99. I have to play this. Yeah. I found it. Yeah, it took me a little. It took me a little doing, but I did find it. Thank you, Scrabble. <laughs> not sure if you guys believed or not that I would that I would get there, but I did. But I did get there. Thank you very much, Plum Bob Five, for the follow. Let me see. I can move this a little. In fact, um, hopefully that will fit right if I get other raids or whatever subs and stuff. Yeah, Jake, thanks. I almost missed it, obviously. Uh, if if you were not playing, you would have heard me talking about a zillion other places, either where this word doesn't play and I wanted it to play or playing whimsy here or here, none of which none of which helped at all, but eventually I found the spot. So, All right, so now what? Yeah, whimsy is just what you would think it means. Just a weird spelling, very weird. So this is interesting to me because it closes. So for me at this score, I'm up almost 100. I wanna close this spot for sure. This is the way I can lose. Two blanks still right here. You see them in the unseen pool. That is a recipe for disaster. If I let this spot stay open, I really must 
close that if I have a remotely decent play in that spot. So there are good plays elsewhere. I could play Reeve for 36, leaving the J, but Jeerer here for 39, and I can even play Jive here if I want. Yeah, okay, Jive being suggested. This looks pretty good. I could tack the R on. I think I'm actually going to keep the R off um, because I want to keep at least one consonant going into next turn. Maybe that's not necessary given that there are way more consonants to draw, but I'm still going to do this. This seems pretty good to me. Okay. Not quite. R Rewimsy is not a word. Lep I just blocked my own leperine. That's okay. I can live with that. E jive, the online jive that we all know and love. I probably am gonna play. Oh boy, and I, I guess I don't have this isn't a word. Zoning, nice play. Scores pretty well. 32 points. Do I really not have a... Yeah, I don't think so. So I could play something like Elope here. This doesn't feel positionally smart just because again, I'm putting really nice tiles out in place, in space I should say, so that doesn't feel great. I think Plonk looks much better positionally just because I'm not that worried about plays under here. I can withstand them. It doesn't really open much. I guess if I could, I would like to find something that plays here that really blocks this area. The bingo lines that are threatening to me on this board are here and here. So the question is, can I block them? while also scoring something that makes me content at all. This is kind of an interesting spot too with the ability to play this or this, erp, lerp. This is Collins. That would be kind of nice, 34 points, not opening anything, closing off this. This is actually kind of a spot too here. Starting with R. Um, I don't know. Prone. This is the only tile I have that fits here. Okay. I guess I'll do plonk. This is nice. I don't, I don't think this is that easy to underlap given the number of the, the vowels that are left. There's actually not a ton of vowels left, and you need two of them that fit under the, the P and the L, which isn't obvious that you would have these. So let's just go ahead and do this. Um, Ultra Minimalist says, what happens if you run out of time? So that's a good question. So you can see on the bottom of the screen, it's actually the top of my screen. So you can see this is a 15 minute game with five minute overtime. So um, each minute of overtime you go, you lose 10 points on your score. And once your entire overtime bank has elapsed, you're going to forfeit the game no matter what the score is. You will immediately lose. Um, so you get ample time to sort of adjust and see that you are about to lose. I wonder, is this, oh man, this is a word. So I was, I was kind of hopeful that the, that the L was going to double. <laughs> that's, that's a shame. I wonder if there's, it feels like there could be something here. Growl, growler, browler. I mean, these aren't these aren't words. Uh, so if I did have anything starting with R, it would play in this spot, which I don't know. Yeah, I try. I tried traveler with two. I tried traveler with two L's, and it didn't take it. I thought there was a pretty good chance, right? Because this is this is a word, 
and this isn't. So that's that's too bad. Although, then again, the dictionary here is off. So I'm curious if this is actually a word. Oh, that's a shame. Okay, so this is an example of um, this is an example of the Merriam-Webster word list that we have having omissions unfortunately so that is a rip that is a big rip because that would have been a sweet nine letter word there sadly um and this this is a, a known thing where a lot of the longer words for whatever reason are not are not in the dictionary that we that we have so um that's we're aware of it it's hard to it's hard to get the Marian people on the phone sometimes but eventually we're going to fix it um also, the Collins list doesn't have this problem for whatever reason. Um, okay, I could do a moving tribute to uh, one of our great um, young American Scrabble players, Mac Miller, but unfortunately, that is not playable here. Um, I don't think I have a bingo here with this M. Millerer. It's more likely that I have something through this I, but even then, it doesn't refiller. Re, I mean, these things don't don't fit. The I needs to be further down if it was going to fit there. Uh, three sets of duplicated tiles. That's the issue here. It's. It's always tricky. The duplicates, um, the dupes, the dupes are in the way. But I'm quickly. Oh right, I'm overtime because I had to deal with the I had to deal with the pest guy, which that I'm just realizing as a critter said the guy was a bit of a pest. All right, I'm just gonna play Elm and try to keep my R's so that if I do draw a bingo, it's likelier to play here. If I keep two R's, okay, well, that's not gonna bingo, but that's okay. We're still doing good. I just need to remember that I am winning the game. Don't go too crazy. And you guys will tell me if I missed anything. <laughs> liar, liar, nice. Liar leer. There, there are a lot of crazy words like that. So I wouldn't. There, there's weird stuff in the Scrabble dictionary for sure. So I'm not. I wouldn't actually be t terrifically surprised. All right, let's just play Lux and get rid of the X. Okay, now I should be able to do something. Ratters, Ritters, Rotters. All in two spots at the very least, so there should be some stuff going on. Uh, yeah, example of canceled versus canceled. Yeah, and again, like we, we have the ability on this site, like you can see it right here. If you go to the word finder, the official Scrabble dictionary. So if I go to English UK, Traveler, Traveler will appear hand tool with a wide blade. So then if you set it to English US, it's not. And yes, I do understand that having the word finder be on the same site as the game platform, there is, you know, there is a contradiction there, but um, it's a nice tool to have. And when we do serious tournaments, you won't be able to do that. <laughs> Just suffice to say, you will not, you will, it will be frowned upon severely if you are going into the word finder at some point when we have term tournaments on the site, you will not get that opportunity, sadly. Or maybe we'll have some tournaments where you can do that. Open book. I actually have always thought that like open book tournaments would be really interesting. So somebody like Scrabble, for example, in the chat, would would just crush probably crush open book tournaments just because I feel like the only weakness that he could possibly have is not being sure of like shorter words from time to time. So having it be open book would let his natural Scrabble ability just shine to the fullest and then he could know if any of his words were good. So for someone like me, my ability 
in these games is primarily, not solely, I've definitely worked pretty hard to become a good strategist at Scrabble, but my ability primarily consists in my command of the dictionary. So if you made an open book tournament, that would definitely level the playing field for me. I would not be nearly as difficult um, to face just because that's, that's what makes me better than other players. Um, word command. So, all right, let's see. What can I do here? I guess I'll play ratters because this actually doesn't take dratters, fratters, none of this. This doesn't hook with anything. So I'll do this, and that should put me up by enough to... Yes, meow is meow. That's right. Um, I actually did... Uh, I did a video about this for our social channels about my words my cats taught me and I went through all the different meow words which that that one with all the vowels in it m i a o u is incredibly useful right four vowels none of which are e's right often if you have a ton of vowels the vowel you would want to keep is an e cuz it's the best vowel for playing longer words and uh, you can get rid of all of them plus an M and make a cute cat sound all, all the while. So that word is uh, very, very useful. Admittedly, it looks very weird. I don't think you see that spelling in print anywhere as much as anywhere near as much as M E O W. But thankfully, somebody is using it out there somewhere. Um, so that we get to use it in this game. It's kind of like someone out there is calling pizza za, right? Just presumably. Someone must be. And uh, thank goodness for them doing that because we certainly benefit from it all the time. So, all right. Well, look, Jake got to play retinas against me, and I salute him for that. I was lucky enough to draw whimsy, and I was barely... <laughs> coherent cogent enough to find the place to play it and that sort of turned the game although diapason was pretty good too yeah scrabble players are obligated to call it za i think all right so we got a request from gt man and we're gonna take it another 15 minute game thank you very much oh wait hold on that uh bunzo bunzo you were in the queue first I don't know what ha I don't know what became of your challenge, but uh, I took I took GT Man's challenge out of turn. If you're willing to wait, I'll finish this game and then we'll we'll play for sure next time. I I should have waited up for you to send a new one. Yeah. Um, is that okay? If I get one more game in, if you gotta go, I will. I'll forfeit this. Yeah, sorry. That that's that's totally on me. I was I was just not remembering. Yeah, it goes away after a set amount of time. I'm not 100% sure why that is. I should basically get it persistently, but uh yeah. Okay. So, Hoagie, that looks like a nice play and I certainly want to play my use i would love to play my use here to this y in particular i could play guru if i want to use both of my use and leave decently balanced tiles i could do that here by playing guru for 10 but that seems significantly worse than playing curdy for 22 do i really not have i feel like i want a better play than these plays, but maybe they just don't exist. Yeah, I'll play Curdy. I think this is probably okay. Uh, wait, what is this? Have I, so hold on. Have I thought about my Babel word suggestion? I'm not sure what you mean. So my answer, my answer to that is no, I haven't thought about it, but it, it's, it, uh, I, that's only because I, I'm not aware of what you're talking about. So I would be happy to top 10 players get to introduce a word. Oh, is that so? Okay, I haven't played a round in quite some time. I actually don't even know if I'm 
if I'm still ranked high enough to get that uh, privilege. But I assume if you're asking me that I am, oh man, so I get to put in a word. Oh geez, this is serious. With great power comes great responsibility. Uh, or with mediocre power comes great responsibility. <laughs> so, um, yeah, uh, I gotta think about that. Haven't thought about it at all. What a cool idea though. I gotta get back into it at some point, even if even if I you know even if I'm just a, a mid level top player, I think I need to get used to it and start playing it again, just because it's too fun. We gotta we have to keep it alive as a game to sort of be a gateway drug for people to eventually get into Scrabble, but who need something a little faster paced to get there. I think it's a, it, I think it has a really important. Uh, role in addition to being just very fun as long as I'm not raging which is most of the time admittedly all right so Nurula 72 72 here the the bad thing here is I think that GT man GT man gamer knows his words pretty good and if I do this there are a lot of hooks here so Nuriula takes S, R, and E, which are very likely letters for anyone to keep. I could also play this for way less. I think I'm tempted to play here, even though putting a letter in the triple lane has the biggest downside of any move, but I think it the, the outcomes are a little... Making this big hook is just like scary to me it's so much stuff that you can just play any word along the triple lane where at least now you have to have something through an n which is a little more maybe that gets in the way sometimes i don't know let's try let's try this <laughs> oh man that's a draw okay so we got a decent draw there folks there must be some cool stuff happening here um okay so Let's see. What are the hooks to Za? We have an we have an S. G. Do I have anything with G? Do I have anything with P? I mean I do, but I'm looking specifically for double doubles. I want stuff that goes all the way through. X, I'm sure not. Okay, so uh, with that out of the way, we gotta look for stuff with S. I think that's the only way this is happening. My wife just came home. Hold on. Oh, she's on the phone or else I was gonna mute my mic and scream down to her. Miss, miss. What's the, is there not a word with an M in here? Entails. Laciest, elastic lattices. I feel like they're mu Oh man, this is annoying. Halites, heliast, laities. Uh, there's a ton of stuff with the S. Salties. Estival. Okay. I guess I'm not seeing a double-double here. It would be so nice. I feel like there must be a way, but I'm not seeing it for whatever reason. Details, dilates. All right. Um, so I'm going to have to settle for something different from that. Maybe there's... Do I have a play through here? Let's just see. What would this be? 78... And a play here, if I do this, would be 76. That's probably fine. I don't think this is a big miss. Oh, Pilates, that's a great... So the thing about that, Pilates, that's, so that's a great find. But I think for whatever reason, uh, um, Lomac, that's still considered to be 
a proper noun. So if I put that in here, it's not going to take it. But there's definitely other stuff that will fit there. So if I were to play like paleist or something, it would fit there. I'm going to I'm going to play this weird word because it gets me a couple extra points with LA. Uh, let's just go with that and let's see what we get. Okay. I drew quired. Uh, does that fit anywhere though? Maybe not. I might have to wait. <laughs> this, by the way, this is not in yet. Although I really feel like this is destined to be in the Scrabble dictionary at some point. It's not in there yet. So no, no, can't, can't rush. You can't rush things, you know, you can't rush these lexicon things. Um, all right. Um, oh, thank you very much. Another follower. Uh, let's see. Hold on. I'm not seeing it on my bot here. But uh, thank you very much. Let's see. Do we catch it? No. Ethereal JP. Thank you very much. Um, all right. I feel, I'm feeling a little itch. I feel like a little itch in my head with this N, but maybe I'm hallucinating. Hedronic. Why, do, why does it feel like there's for sure something with this N? E. Oh, these letters are so good. And I have a seven letter word on my rack. Mm. All right, let's just assume that my brain is not playing tricks on me and that there's nothing that I'm not missing anything. Let's look at this Y for a second. <laughs> the U is the, the R. These letters look so nice, but I suppose there isn't anything here. Okay, so let's move on. We can't spend forever looking for stuff that's not there. I feel like I have a bad feeling about this, but we're just gonna go ahead. Okay, so this is a nice little spot right here. CH by itself scores quite nicely, so I could just do this if I want. I could do this. This looks better, because in general, the I, even though we don't like duplicating the I, it is a better bingo tile by far than the O. So if I want to bingo through these nice letters here or this here, keeping the eye is a better way to go. All right. Uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and do this and let's see what I missed. All right. Give me the bad news. What I miss. I feel like that there, maybe I should just trust my gut at this point, but um, I feel like I could have missed something there easily. All right. So we have this at least. Um, nothing with quired plus n. All right, that's that was the main that was the main one that I was worried about. L O M are the only eights with that rack. Quired plus an O is O O. Yeah, Cory, Corioid, Ocaroid. Thanks to uh, Mini Circle X, I think that's what that said for the follow. Um. And L would be quired plus L chloride. M is chromide. Okay. So yep, those are the those are the eights. That's a good that's a good uh, test. I've been doing. I've definitely been like that. To me, that's my test. Oh, radio men gets blocked. Okay. So now I have to do this, which maybe is a more fun word anyway. Airdrome. So we'll play airdrome. And move on. We're doing well. We're up a hundred. But uh, <laughs> yeah, the reinked. I had a couple. I had a couple good days recently where I got a hundred two days in a row, which if uh, I was feeling good, I've been getting ninety nines and stuff a lot. So I'm in. I'm in good form, I think, with my NWL blank bingos. And I even have been beating Dave Wiegand a couple times on the Collins blank bingos. So I'm I'm doing good. I would do that. I would love to do those on stream in some way, shape, or form. But the problem, whoa, nice play, Sigla. 
Um, the problem with that is I don't know when to do it without spoiling it for other people. So I'm open to suggestion. Like I would love to turn more of my word gaming time into streaming time, but I just feel like world winner, world winner. I probably shouldn't be playing on stream because like you can look at my look at my score, <laughs> look at my boards. Infinity Words has blank bingos now. Oh shit. Wow. Oh yes. I remember seeing that on Discord, but it, it didn't it didn't have the proper effect in my in my brain that I that I should have had. Um but that's amazing. I should definitely do that. Do some blank infinite wordsing. Alright, let's do this. I gotta get rid of my Q some way, and that seems like a decent way to do it. It's not great to leave this open, nor is it great to make a new space here. So this, there are a couple, couple concerning scoring spots here, but for 34 points, shedding the queue, we live with it and move on. Um, yeah, the blank bingos, to me, that's like, whenever you're, so whenever you're trying to improve at something, you should be doing something that you are not good at already and practicing at it until you are good at it. But there was a period of years where I was studying words as like naturals, big naturals, seven and eight letter words is what I mean by that. And um, I was getting very good at that. So... Uh, Basically, I had to convince myself to try something else that was not as easy for me. And uh, the blank bingos are just like manna from heaven. They are so perfect because they're still so difficult to clear. They're not something that I can do successfully every time, but I feel like they have such a, such a good impact on your game if you're good at those. So, hey, Jake, thank you very much for stopping by. Uh, look forward to seeing you on Thursday as we watch to, as we go from streamer and viewer to both viewers, the two of us together, enjoying Mr. Extra Typo on his stream, hopefully. Um, yeah, for sure, man. I've, I have not forgotten about that. Um, as opposed to like stock, you know, the YouTube studio music, it would be great to commission you to do that. And I, I can tell you, that if I was still doing my own stream and didn't have other projects going on, and I would already have reached out and been and commissioned you to do that stuff, but it's just a lot, a lot of stuff, uh, a lot of stuff going on. Um, okay, now with that being said, what am I doing here? I want to play the word up there because it gets rid of all this clunk, but this appears to be the only place that I can play it, which makes me uneasy, because why would I open up so much nice board like that? Um, I don't think I have, this is not a word. Is there, I don't have any, I'm just a poor boy from a poor family. I don't think Scaramouche is good in this. Um, yeah, what's up? What's up, Bear? Updog, that's right. We love Updog, don't we, folks? Updog is one of our favorite things to say to streamers. And I can eat, uh-oh. No, the disconnect flow. That's not what we want. Hopefully it, re hopefully it comes back. All right, you know what? It, the disconnect flow is, I'm gonna just play up Bear. I don't even care. Let's hope, <laughs> okay. That got that got him back. That got him back. Let's hope I don't get triple tripled on. Uh, I played this just just to like make sure that he would he would get back to the game. So um, this is probably not what I would play under normal circumstances. Not that it's a bad play. I think it's a good way to get rid of the U, the P, and the B. Yeah, this would be the I would be this would be a huge debate right here. This would be a big big debate to feign disconnection and then hit me with the math. Oh, wow. Motives for 108. That's actually hilarious because now <laughs> now I have this rack that doesn't really do anything for me. 
I don't think, unless I'm missing a really obvious bingo or something, something through the A, I mean the B, the P, I don't think any of those exist. Wow. Now we're in for it. So um, I have really good bingo tiles. That's kind of nice, but what do I do with them? I guess I could play like oat. Is this worth doing? What are the hooks here? B, D, G, all of which would go here, but it's gonna be hard to play D, B, well, B, U is definitely doable. Oh my gosh. Uh, this is so funny. I've really made a bad situation for myself here. Uh, how about, can I play? Is there nothing that I can play up here? Tau, like Tauons is not, this is not what I'm looking to do here. I want to keep this S just because here is such a good, easy scoring spot for me. All right. This, this feels bad, but I'm going to go ahead and do this and hope for the best. Oh, boy. <laughs> Jeez. All right. This game is going a little squirrely here. I feel like I was in such good command, and then up bear, the debate has just completely ruined me. Oh, the only eight-letter bingo is assinate. Okay. All right. Those letters look great, so I'm a little surprised by that, but... Kind of, I mean, maybe I'm not that surprised also just because there are racks like that. Okay, there we go. There's the G hook. That's actually okay. 31 points there. I can live with that. I can live with that. Um, so now I really want to, I see my clock also. That's not great. Um, I think something like this is going to be hard to get away from. There are other X spots on the board, but they don't let me use the F or one of my two Ns. So I'm just going to go with this and hope for the best. This is bad, though, because if I draw JV, I can get out bingo down here pretty easily in this spot, actually. So I'm, I'm very... Maybe I need to, oh man, this would be so nice if I could play this, but I can't. This this feels like it would work out much better for me. Can I play Annex somewhere? I don't think so. I got to I got to go too. Let's just do this. Okay, I didn't draw the J. I didn't so I didn't draw badly. It's still maybe possible to get out bingo down here, but it's going to be really hard with JV in the mix. I just don't, I don't see it happening. I think I'm, I think I'm okay here, but we'll find out. And I really need to not go over time. Sapinated, sapinated is good. Waiting patient. Oh, wow. I didn't realize that. Um, oh, could I have made it faxes? Yeah, potentially. That's a good point. Um, okay. So B, E, E, v, N, V, this doesn't scare me at all. I could just play this here and then go out with my D somewhere. Is there any better way to pluralize this? Maybe I should just play dead and then I have two ends that don't really play together. Okay, let's do this. And go out with the D next. I'm sure there's some better play. Yeah, stand, I think is standin a, a colon. I think there's a word in there. Anagram standin. Yeah. So there is a Collins word in there, which I could have played if it was English UK, but it's not. So no big deal. Yeah, Faxis was interesting. There was also a suggestion of Faxis and Feeks trying to avoid Hefe, which makes some sense as well. I think even I might even be able to outrun Hefe. So maybe that's just the bet. Maybe that's the best thing to just prevent a bingo. Uh, all right, I have a D. It probably plays here for a good score, and there we go. So this game was pretty pretty close. That was a very good game between GT Man and myself.
motives for 106, I think it was. Hold on. 98. No, this is wrong. It was more. Uh, so this is definitely uh, not correct, as it actually scored significantly more than this. So this will be for me to try to come up with why that was. Because, yeah, I just remember, yeah, okay, here's what I'll do. If we go back to motives, oh, I see. It didn't add the Krill's points in. So I feel like most, I think that's that's clearly what it is. The turn, this play was 108 points, but I think it's doing top word and it's just giving this when I, I think most of us would want the score of the play as opposed to the score of the word, but I don't know. You guys can let me know what you think about that. I think, I think it should be the full play. All right, Bunzo, are you still here? Please. I pray. I pray. I pray that chess Bunzo is still here to receive the game that he so richly deserves for being patient. Um, but if, if he's here, okay. Yeah, score of the word is not a concept. Yeah, I think that's that's definitely that is the result of somebody not that you know making that implementing that that's not you know as as well versed in like what we're expecting, and that's well that's part of my job is to communicate that. All right, here we go. It's Bunzo time. Thank you very much to Bunzo for waiting, and oh boy, oh boy. We got good stuff. Ah, oh, GT man, you're too kind. You had me on the ropes. I am. I am. I am merely flesh and blood. No god. I am not a god. I am just a, a somewhat sad middle-aged man that has devoted a huge amount of time to studying the dictionary. But I. I don't know. I'm not sad. I'm actually pretty happy. I'm pretty comfortable with my life and with myself. So it's very it's very wrong for me to say that I'm sad. I'm actually mostly happy. And being good at Scrabble is a little bit nerdy, but it's also something to be proud of. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Critter. Yeah, 14 Domino says this is me. Yeah. Oh, well, we'll see what we'll see what I have to work with after uh, Bunzo plays because I want to play this. Through a, I need a C or a P. C or a P is what I'm hoping for. I don't want to play Heckler here. Um, I'm sure there's some like words in here too. Okay, well, we didn't get a like word. So I can play Heckler here. Do I have... Is this a word? Yeah, I thought so. Okay. Do I have something through the E? Maybe. I don't it doesn't feel like I do, but got to look. Got to look. So, yeah, I think Heckler here would be 70 if I played here, which seems a little foolhardy. It's fewer points also. So, <laughs> okay. That's pretty pretty clear. So, if I'm going to do this I would play it here. And if I'm going to do this, it's 68. Maybe this is better. It's probably worth the sacrifice just to avoid opening any kind of triple whatsoever. Um, heckler. Oh, yeah. Rake hell. That's right. Do we know the hook? Do you guys know the hook on rake hell? <laughs> rake hell takes a Y. Rake helly. I don't know why that would be the case. No pun intended. Okay. Um, I'm going to play this. Just, well, hold on. Yeah, I'll play this. This seems fine. It's it's be, it's a little safer to me than Heckler. Just because I'm not, again, like I said, I'm not opening any triple at all. If I play Heckler here, this E is already open. So putting more E's on the board is not that bad. It seems like it's worth the point sacrifice to me. But I don't know. These these sorts of things are always very difficult to evaluate. Yep, definitely some good hooks in Collins. Um, 
Yeah, it's th- these are close. I don't think I definitely would not call Heckler in this spot with the H here for a couple extra points. That's fine, especially because the C here is so restrictive with no two-letter words. You're not opening up the actual damaging plays to the triple by placing the C there. So it's pretty, it's pretty safe as plays that open a triple go. But it is a triple nonetheless. So like, there's definitely things here. When you put your H and your E right here, there are still three-letter words that play for 30-plus pretty easily. Um, putting the R here, yeah, that's true. The R here is kind of bad. The R here is this is not in a good position for future double-doubles. Um, so there is that. That's fair. Yeah, A out in space is another letter. So there's, you know, there's definitely, and then then again, if I play Heckler here, then there's an I open that wasn't open before. So there's a lot of weird things to evaluate. Um, it's probably, it, when in doubt, when, those, when you have positions like that where there's so many different factors, none of which feel like they're particularly incredibly strong, it's usually better to just take the points, actually. So getting a couple extra points was probably the way to go here, given, given now that I think about it in hindsight. But not a big deal. If that's the worst, if that's the worst mistake happening, then you're doing good. Okay. Um... Diva. So my ideas here are playing Jade for 35, leaving LVS, or Java here for 28, leaving DELS, which I think that has to be better. Is there a better J play? I would love to hit the J. This is like an identical spot right here, these two A's. <laughs> They're the same. Um... Is there a double-double with this? I don't believe so. Do I have something here? I don't think so either. Yeah, I think I'm I think I'm think satisfied playing this here because this is just, this is a really good leave and there's a lot of good letters to play through, right? This R, as 14 Domino said, this makes that ES combination even better. So let's just do this. Okay, so well, this is kind of funny. So I have I have welders for forty four. I have zeals for forty six. And do I have anything here? Weasel. Oh, I don't have an A. Okay, never mind. Okay, I don't have weasel. I thought I did for a second. So I have at least a couple of nice things, but not as much as I thought. Oh, Hodge, where was that? Oh, that would have been pretty good. I guess, yeah, Hodge, that's nice. It does leave the V, so I do like using the V here. I didn't even generate that as a choice. And Zed's, where is that? Oh, 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 Zed's on this turn. Yeah, Zed's here for 49 is probably also okay. Yes, I thought I missed it previously. Hair like. <laughs> Hair like Macondo's one equity point better. Nice. Uh, good to good to have one's intuition supported. That's great to know that that's possible to do. Also, that's exciting. Um, but uh, yes, it that they're obviously very close. So all right, let's see. Out by yucky nice play by bunzo with yucky letters to get rid of uuy so it looks like he's struggling with bad bad stuff um okay so if i were to play welders here leaving the z what good is the z here by itself there's no big z spot i would have to get lucky to draw something here or I could just play zeals, which is kind of scary. Again, I put the Z here. What do I have that does anything with that? I think I would rather not put a Z out there. This is just going to really, like, Bunzo is just going to, like, tunnel vision this spot, as well he should, because that's going to immediately become 
the most lucrative place to score on the board. So maybe this is a, I mean, this is a pretty re- reasonable choice, actually. This is hard. In English US, it's hard to overlap this. You need an A. If he doesn't have an A, he's powerless to do anything about it. It scores a little bit more. It just keeps the W, which Zeals does as well. So that's not a differentiator. Um, I think I'm going to play Welders here. 44. The Z is just so good. And I can get 44 points without using it. And I think my odds of being able to do something good with it on a future turn are pretty good. This is uh, my intuition, though. Let me just think about this. Think about this. It feels close. It's a five-point sacrifice, but Z versus LEW is definitely, like, that's a big deal. And this does not offer a ton. I guess it offers an X spot and a triple, but I'm not that worried about that. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> oh, okay. Very interesting draw. Okay. And Withered comes down immediately, so I pay the price. I pay the price, although di- I wonder Diether. Oh, Ditherer is a word too. So I was getting hit with, if I play Zeds, I'm getting hit with Ditherer. But I shouldn't even be thinking about this. This is not relevant to the game. Uh, All right, so what to do now? I have QZ as unideal to draw the Q here because now I have to deal with it. I'm still winning, though. I'm still ahead. Um. So we'll see. Oh, I got a chat from Bunzo. <laughs> yeah, it does combine Scrabble Go chat. All right. Um, so I don't think I have a Z or Q play to this H, which is unfortunate. Let me just not miss anything. So do I just play Cade for 28? That's not great, but... I don't think I have plays here either. I don't know. I'm not... This didn't make very much for my Z. If I do this, I kind of want to try to go for Azoth. How can I do this? Is there something I can... Oh, no. When I play Cade, I, I get this with an O draw. So that's nice. There are a lot of O's. Obviously, this this becomes a pretty good spot for Bunzo too, so it's going to be hard to ex- reasonably expect it to stay open. He's going to want to hit there. If he has a C, he's going to hit there every time. CH. Um, no. No. I have to play this. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and do this. I don't know what to do. Okay. This is funny because if now, if Bunzo plays something, like something E-T-C-H, let's say he plays fetch here. Normally I would be like, oh, that's terrible. But I really want him to play this. (laughs) Please. Please. Please play fetch, beach, peach, reach, wretch, lech, anything. Please. We need it. We need this. Do you guys see why? It's so important. No. (laughs) Okay, so he doesn't play there. That's fine. I mean, that's that's kind of a good thing because that's a, a scary spot to play in. But I wanted to play spatzels. Yeah, I wanted to play spatzels. So, so this this would have been very nice um, 
Yeah, Spatzels. Spatzels would have played, if there was an E here in particular, all the things that I wanted him to play would have hit the Z in this spot in particular. So the, that was like pretty likely, right? That happens a lot to me. And I follow it up with just a massive, massive play there. So too bad. Okay, so we move on. This looks quite strong at first glance. 50 points. LST. We like we like 50 points. We like LST. We don't love leaving a spot for A parallels, but that's really not that big of a deal. Uh, if we were going to come up with some other play, what would it even be? Plazas? That's that's just Well, the reason the only reason that plazas is appealing at all is that I'm leaving ST, which is similarly good to LST. It's You would like to see vowels there, but also LST is a good bingo combination. But the most important thing is it leaves this hook for bingoing in the future. But that is not worth 14 points here. 14 points is a lot. I'm trailing in the game. I need as many points as I can get. So let's do this. Okay, so now I drew the C. I will probably be playing this, unless I can come up with some better idea. I don't think I'm likely to. <laughs> Hoomstiv. <laughs> nice. Hey, Sir Fink, how are you? Hope you're having a nice day. I look forward to snarking with you for the next 20 minutes. Um... So, all right, let me just see here. Letcher Wretch. Yeah, Letcher Wretch is a good question. So in general, so here's, let's talk about that. These are the tiny little nuances, right? So Letch or Wretch, let's think about it. So normally, RS is so strong that you want to keep RS together pretty much all the time. It's very, very, very good. LS is not bad, but it's not comparable to RS because this is such a good two-tile combination for bingoing. That being said, there is some value in keeping the L because sometimes you will be happy you kept it for this spot when you have massive plays if you get a bingo there. That's really not that important, though. I think in general, you would need a really compelling argument to keep the L over the R. One such reason would be that there's a million R's in the unseen pool and only a few L's, but that's not really the case here. There's one L and two R's, so very, very similar. That's You're not looking to dodge duplicates that much here. So for that reason, I think it makes plenty of sense to play Lech here and keep GRS instead of GLS because now we just have an opportunity to potentially play ERS through this E that I put out in space. So I think this is fine. <laughs> oh, man. Fink says it's too hot outside. No Fink, only a puddle of a human. I'm sorry it's so warm. I don't actually, I'm not sure I've exited my house today. Oh, I did, I did leave the house. I tried to go to the post office and get stamps, but the line was out the door, so I just went straight back home. And uh, that that was a big success for me. Big success story, trip to the post office. Firing on all cylinders. Um, yeah, three ends, that's right, not great. We do have this though, 28 points. NNS is not great, but at least it's not three ends, and it gets me out of the trouble a little and closes off this area right it gets me it gets me i would like this play because it prevents bunzo from making a play in the same spot that puts a better letter here so by putting the g here it makes it next to impossible that he would have a seven letter word that can play there whereas there are many things he could play that end in a vowel or start in a vowel i should say that make it much easier to fit words so i do like that if I get a chance to play that, I won't be that upset. Um, <laughs> yes, this is what happens when I'm not dodging duplicates. Yeah, that was my draw, right? That was like, 
This is my draw. A N N N. <laughs> yeah. So we'll see. Uh, do I have any opportunity to play more ends? I mean, not not without doing something crazy like this. This is not worth it, especially when you have a twenty eight point play available. So, what about here? Anything here? No, I don't think so. So this is this game is still quite tenuous here. Bunzo has given me a game after his next play. If he has any kind of reasonable letters, he's probably only going to be down a few points, or he will be up because <laughs> he plays antidote. Okay, this is this uh, things have gotten dicey, but still okay. This is still okay. There's still opportunity here. I could play this. I'll get there eventually. There we go. Grand. I can play grand, leaving decent letters. Of course, now there's almost nowhere to play. So the fact that now this was a benefit that I wasn't creating a threat with this play, now it's kind of a drawback. But we still have to do it. I think we still have to do it. It's not impossible that I could get something from this F to this L to this Y. These aren't very likely outcomes. But if I can get the second blank, all of that stuff becomes possible again. So let's just go ahead and wait, hold on. Do I really not have any? I don't think I have stuff up there. So, okay, here we go. Let's go for it. <sighs> hmm. Oh man, that was fast. Okay, so mix goes down instantaneously. At least there's no blank. So this is not good. I don't think I drew anything to any of these areas. Oh yeah. All right. Let's see here. Um, what to do? Try to Get rid of some of these duplicates. It's not really that possible to do so. Like this isn't good enough. Yeah. This is gonna be a struggle. <laughs> it would be great to just play this for a nice score setting up my S. No such luck. Huh. What am I supposed to do here? I really need to I don't I guess I don't need to score that badly in this situation. I definitely need to be trying to get a bingo here. How do I do that though? I do I go for broke for the blank or do I try to balance this weird looking rack and play fawn somewhere or something? Do I just play fan on? This is really not what I want. I really don't want to disrupt the access to this L at all. Do I play? Oh man, it's the there's not. I mean, it's I might consider this more strongly if the vowel and consonant ratio were a little more lopsided. But I'm a little worried. I'm going to draw too many vowels to this, and it's going to be bad for me. Do I just play this? <laughs> I think I'm losing by a little bit too much here to burn my S in this way. I think I really need it. Do I play goon? Oh, oh, this is what I should play. I should play goon because this doesn't block any of the stuff that I have open on the board. Yeah, and it sets up my S here. Maybe if I draw something like Swarf or something, that could actually get me into the game. Okay, let's do this. This is as good as I can get. Ooh. E. Okay. Yes, goon being suggested. Yeah. So that's, this is definitely a good plan. I don't, do I have anything through this F? I don't think so. But I have a bingo now through this L. Gotta, it's all, you gotta do your little dance, you know, 
internally. I was talking last week about doing my pee pee dance while I was playing at the Nationals in 2017 as the newly crowned champion, sitting there doing my pee pee dance in the morning of uh, the final day. But the, but I think we all know what it's like to have a bingo that plays probably in only one spot unless I'm missing something and just pray that it stays open at all costs. Um, if it doesn't, though, I feel like I'm still... I mean, stuff like this is still very good, right? So if Bunzo, blo- if Bunzo does some play here that doesn't score that much to block, this is going to be pretty good. So I'm not, I'm not terrified if he blocks, and there is stuff here too. That wow, drawing the drawing the other S is huge. I can use the two S's one after the other. One. I also drew the case E, so that was an amazing draw. Actually, I drew E S out of the bag. The E is important for this, so I drew the last E for this spot, which now S E plays are going to hit super hard in that spot. Then there's the S here too. So we'll see what happens. Snart, yeah, for sure. Oh, Fakirs. <laughs> yeah, shoot. Now I, now I feel, oh, geez, 50 points leaving both S's. Now I feel conflicted playing that. So it's it's no big deal. I should have seen that quickly. So I'll, I'll play something else. We'll see what Bunzo has. Either way, Snarfle. Well, you know what? Fakir's amazingly is probably not that much worse than the bingo. 62. 62 points. Okay, so the bingo is available. But ENS is such a good leave. <laughs> it's so much better. This is actually uh this this has a good chance of being a better play. Than the bingo here just because ENS with this spot still available to cash your S hook is so useful but I'm gonna go ahead and play this anyway open myself up to something a little scary which did happen but now I whoa this is actually scary too there is definitely possibilities of Bunzo having bingos to the Y or from the F here or even Seven letter words ending in A, that's possible too. So I'm nowhere near out of the woods here. Um, I guess it's going to be tough to block all of these things at once. I'm basically going to have to pick one of these areas to do something about. I'm not 100% sure which. I think I probably... I don't know. I don't, I'm not 100% sure which of these is most dangerous in my mind. I do also have to consider um, the end game being very difficult. Okay, so he plays mock for 21. Now I have a little bit more leeway to do stuff up here, but. <laughs> Uh, it's really not like this is, I have almost no lead at all. I also have no time. So I think I pretty much have to do something like this and keep my M to score with in the end game and just pray that I don't go over time and that he doesn't have a bingo that plays here, which he definitely can. Okay. So let's see. Does he have something here? Yeah, he does. He's got bingos. He's got bingos. So maybe I should have played human. Yeah, the, the issue with human is that it left me with UUI going into the end game, which is really difficult to see being successful. And it created the humane hook where he could just burn his blank for a two-turn sequence with humane and something else. Whereas I would almost certainly not have been able to go out on my next turn. Not that I can with this either. Um Human, yeah, human leaves eights. So, like, he definitely, I'm sure there's something here. No? Is there? For Formiant is Collins. And... Oh, with the A, that's right. So, if I play human, oh, I see. Yes, this would be a spot, too, which he would surely have something through that now, I think. Aeration doesn't fit. 
animator nope that doesn't fit whatever i shouldn't be thinking about that i should be thinking about my own problems which are considerable here um i don't really know what to do here let's see I just play Jim for 13. That's not very good. Do I play Maxi for 13? That's worse. Do I play just MI or MU? Yeah, that's probably better. <sighs> yeah, Ugg is, yes. Yep, for sure. I would definitely consider playing just gum here. I mean, I could play mug here, actually. Yeah, that's that's the play. Mug in that spot. I just feel like this is very likely to be... I think this is going to get taken if Bunzo does not play something here, which he has stuff. He does have stuff. Um, so... Yep. So the clock's ticking. Do I really not have any? I don't have any outplays anywhere, I don't think. Yeah. So I'm expecting him to play here. Oh, he's going over. So that's so that's totally natural. If he is able to find he's probably trying lots of words that end in A here, if I'm if I'm guessing correctly. And there are some. There's at least one that I see that plays here. He is hunting for that bingo for sure. And it's there is stuff that he can get. So I am I could lose immediately at any time if he sees stuff. Um with every passing second that elapses, I feel like, well, if he hasn't seen it now, he probably won't. So there are a couple things though. So we'll have to see. And if he finds it, all you can do is tip your cap. It's a very interesting game. Um, okay, he plays turnip. So he gives up on finding the good stuff. He has AO. So I'm pretty sure I can just play Mew here and do okay. If he goes AO, I don't know where that's scoring for that many more points, especially with the time penalty. So I'll do this. And he's going to get a few points from me. Oh, he's about to go over. He's Yeah, Cortina, exactly. Cortina, Cortina is the only one that I saw. And let's see. Oh, he just plays Amu, so that lets me go here and finish the game. So, yikes, that was close. And again, that's like, it was very lucky for me that the only bingo that Bunzo had available was a word that you would be very unlikely to know without studying Scrabble words systematically. So unfortunately for poor Bunzo, he did not get a chance to find that word using his natural play finding ability, which is very considerable. Uh, it was Cortina, Cortina. So this this was the yeah. You'll you'll get told that in a second. That's a word where I don't expect I don't expect anyone to know that word without studying the dictionary very carefully. <laughs> Tormina, that's right. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, very close. Obviously, that could that could have been Bunzo's game for sure. Uh, would have been really interesting to do. Fakirs instead of Snarfles and see how the game turned out. I do think Fakirs was a better play there. Only 10 fewer points to keep ENS as a leave. I think that would have been a, an improvement over the bingo that might have swung the game further in my favor, especially if I drew something really bad. Like the UUI combination gets much better when you can just dump some of that stuff with Devons here. Um, all right. So I did, so it's, it is about two hours in, uh, I will play Arlong. I will play Arlong in this final game, but I'm going to do it like speed style. I'm going to try not to use up more than just a couple minutes on my clock. So I'm going to, I'm going to time blitz him as our final, final game of the stream. And then we'll call it, we'll call it after that. Yeah, no, my pleasure. Arlong got it. Got to get you your game. Got to get you your game. So, um, I'm going to go super fast. 
Yeah, Bunzo, the time pressure. Time pressure, I mean, you, if you watch me play often enough, you'll see me choke games away in time pressure. It's definitely, like, it's it's brutal, like, what that does to your mind. Hey, GT man, thank you very much. Obviously, spending spending all that time playing, playing uh, a really well-contested game with me, I had a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed your stay over the two hours that you were here. Oh yes! If you do that, Scrabble, you should. You feel free. Get set up now, because I will send you a raid for sure. I will be very happy to. Everybody will have to watch that. That's must must see TV. All right. Um, I don't really know what to do here. I'm just gonna play Mo. I said I was gonna go fast. Okay. Um, this is a weird rack. I have voting, which. At least plays here, I suppose. Very unlikely to stay open. I don't think I'm going to have another place to play it. Uh, okay, I don't. Hag with the G is Collins. I could play something with Thaw. I guess I... Well, I can't play the G here, of course. Uh... I guess I could play it here. Ugh. G. Geo. Oh, this is so bad. All right. Um, no good hooks here either. All right. Um, ingot and Thaw. Vot. Anybody? Uh, anybody watch the boys here on uh, Amazon Prime? I'm a. I'm a fan of that show. Big fan. A lot of superhero stuff out there, but I really like that show. I thought of it because of Vought International. Um, all right, I will play... You know what? I am going to play Voting, even though it leaves Go, just because I'm unhappy with all of my choices here. Yeah, this is not speed at all. Yeah, Season 3 has been crazy. There have been... I would say... In general, Season 3 has been super fun. I feel like there have been a couple instances where I felt like the writing was not as good as it was in the early seasons. And I wonder if that's because they're slightly diverging from the comics a little bit. But this is like the tiniest little quibble. I think it's great. I'm having so much fun watching it. This is my sponsored plug. Thank you very, thank you very much to the to Amazon for being a wonderful sponsor of the stream here. We appreciate you here on twitch.tv slash scrabble so much. Um, just kidding. They didn't do that. Okay, let's do Grove. Okay. I could play joiner or jointer or something. I would probably play joiner because I don't want I want to use an R, but I don't want to put stuff in the triple lane. And maybe Arlong doesn't know the Y hook here, which would be nice. Joinery. Yeah, seasons one and two were amazing. The guy that plays Homelander, Anthony Starr, is just like next level. I want to give him all the all the awards for what he's doing there. Just so good. The way the way he is just the most psychotic character but also somehow manages to be a little bit sympathetic at times because his life has been such a you know ruin psychological ruin is amazing so yeah i don't watch a ton of tv though i i feel like uh i don't know i've never there are so many shows that have come out in the last decade that my friends have said you got to watch this that i feel like i think i've said this before at some point on stream they all sort of like they're all victims of one another's success. Like I always get, I get so many recommendations for shows that I should watch that if I only got one recommendation for, or two or three different shows getting frequent recommendations, I'm sure I'd watch them all. But because there are so many more than that that I get recommended, I get, I just feel like, oh, well, what's the point? I should just stick to my current hobbies. Okay. Uh, that was unfortunate because now I don't think I get my good stuff and I don't have a great way to play Taj. So I suppose I just have to play rejoin. 
That feels much worse, but that's okay. All right, I drew daughters. That doesn't fit anywhere, though. Oh, it sure does. It sure does. Ooh, look at this. Does this have any kind of crazy, crazy thing in it? This is a Collins word. This would be great here if I could do something there, but I can't. Oh man, is there something like, ah, uh, look how nice that would be. <laughs> something there. I don't think I have anything like that, so. Yeah, jointer, uh, I could have played jointer, which would have been a little bit more, but it's it was a little scarier positionally, so I decided not to. Um, all right. Um, wanting to play quick, like I said, I'm not doing that very well. Uptake, this is a, I think that's a Collins word. Um, I can't come up with something that fits there nicely, unfortunately. Oh, yes, that's, yes, just what the doctor ordered. That's exactly what I need. That's exactly what I need. That's got to be the play. All right, so now I got to come up with a bingo here with this stuff. Oh, I have it. So that's good. Obituary, auditory. I don't know. I think this is this is pretty unlikely to get blocked. I think. What? Where would I be looking if I was trying to play here? I would probably play a good scoring tile here. I would play something through the K. Maybe I have some random thing to the U to the triple. Probably not. But I probably wouldn't be blocking this unless I had a bingo of my own or something long through the E that wasn't a bingo. So I think my odds are pretty good. Obituary, there's a B and an R here. They don't fit. This R doesn't fit. I'll see if I can finish this game before my clock hits 10, which I, I probably would have wanted to finish it before it hit 12, but that's not going to happen. I don't think that's going to happen right now. So... Um, if I have to, it's not the worst thing in the world to just play you, leaving awesome letters with good tiles to play through. So it's, I will have good choices. So it's up to it's up to Arlong. So yeah, let's see what TV shows have I watched. I did watch Ted Lasso with my wife, and I did enjoy it, even as a as a very uh, irony poisoned you know, like cynical person, I still enjoyed that show quite a bit. It was very fun. Um, so it just it just made me feel good as it makes everybody feel good. So um, like that show. Um, I don't know. I feel like I've watched pretty much the entirety of the show Breaking Bad on YouTube in clips, like one clip at a time. I feel like that's how I've done that. Uh, let's just play foe. Ooh, I wonder. So I'm still losing, actually. I felt like I should do this so that I didn't open anything, but I, I needed to be like a little more aggressive there, actually. So I'm a little... I'm actually in trouble because Arlong's probably going to play through this M, and unless I get really lucky, I'm not going to bingo unless I create more of a space for myself. Better Call Saul. Okay, that's you can lump Better Call Saul into one of the shows that I feel like I've watched pretty much all of it on YouTube in clips. <laughs> so I can think of you know pretty much every character on that show I know pretty well. And I know what happens to them all, but I didn't actually watch the show in the right order. Hello to Falcor, by the way. Nice to see you. Um, yeah. So obviously both incredibly well-regarded shows. Okay, G does not have anything here, I don't think. So what am I supposed to do here to open more space? This is so bad. Um... 
like airy. <laughs> I guess. I mean, this is insane. Opening up this much, whatever. I'm I'm in trouble here, so I might as well go for it. Hmm. Not quite. I don't think I have anything. Oh well, hold on. I need to. Maybe I need to go for this. Be lacing. It's not quite there. So this is going to get blocked, and then I'm in real trouble. So I was hoping to draw. I was hoping to draw the blank, but actually, I don't really know what I what hope I had for it. Um, Severance is a show I saw the the I saw the like teaser trailer for Severance, and it looked like it. So I'm a I'm a sucker for John Turturro. First of all. Definitely a John Turturro fan. I think he's amazing. And the the show, that show looks really cool. So that would be one that I would consider watching at some point. Um, Bob Odenkirk. So um, I have I have been a Bob Odenkirk fan my entire like content consuming life, as far back as Mr. Show, like Mr. Show with Bob and David. And then I don't know if anybody out there. So this is this is really this is the mo the most polarizing thing that I think is absolute genius is uh, Tim and Eric comedy. Tim Heidecker is like my favorite comedian ever. So Bob Odenkirk is like all on like his stamp is on everything that that those guys have done. I don't know if anyone else out there even knows who those those people are. But they're like my favorites. Um, so Odenkirk is in that universe for sure. All right. Um, this is bad. I'm in trouble. I want to do something here, but I don't think there is a play that lets me do that. B-E. No, I don't have anything there. Oh, we got some. All right. We got somebody. Jeremy knows Spaghetti. That's right. Spaghetti is great. Um yeah, this is tough. I think I need to go for something here, actually. I don't really know what. So I'll just, I need to keep my N more than anything. So maybe I'll get something crazy here. No. Nope. It's also nice to keep the N for this, too, if I were to randomly get something there. So with two in the bag and this pool, look how good that pool is. I think I'm done for here. So as soon as Arlong empties the bag, I'm I'm gonna lose. So the state for sure, yes. Yeah, okay, Jeremy, Jeremy is with me on this. I'm glad I'm glad some of you guys I, I rarely, rarely get people that even know what the heck I'm talking about when I mention those those people. So um it was um one of uh, one of the like amazing moments was I actually got to talk to Tim Heidecker on his podcast, Office Hours. I was a guest on his podcast a couple years ago, and he he talked to me like they they said like we have we have a special guest. This guy was a Scrabble champion, and I went on. I talked to him, and he got he asked me a few questions about Scrabble, which I thought was. Um, super cool but then when i watched it over afterwards like all all of the people that were watching on there um were like just ripping into me for not being a good guest <laughs> so i feel i feel sad about that but that's okay i don't take it that personally all right um let's see that's not a word but i wish it was oh man I'm going to lose this game anyway, almost certainly, unless I come up with like, yeah, there is, I don't think there is a, a play here. I guess I just have to play like Neath or something. Yeah, ALS blank, too good. I can't, I don't think I can overcome that. So, okay, yeah, I'll play Neath. And Arlong's going to pip ahead of me at the last play. Uh, unfortunately, but Hey, that was a good game. Nice one to end the stream on frequent, frequent, uh, challenger on the stream, uh, Arlong coming away with a win here to finish things off. So 
I did go below 10 minutes also. So the speed, the speed aspect of this, not quite all that it was cracked up to be. So, um, but, uh, yeah, so we'll see. All right. Slabs is the final play and it looks like, yeah, he does narrowly win at the very end. That was a GG for sure. <laughs> looked great. Thank you. Yes. I look great. I look great on stream here. Uh, as always looking immaculate. Um, so, all right, that was a good set of games today. As always, I will continue to think of uh, new ways to do interesting things here. Thank you very much to, to uh, Ultra Minimalist for the follow and being such an active chatter, of course. And now um, I'm pretty sure that if Scrabble is, yeah, if he's, uh, do, I'm not sure if I'm following him on my main channel yet but i am following Babel royale as a category so that should turn him up but uh yeah this should be a treat obviously like scrabble who is in a so scrabble as you would expect is the top Babel royale player but he's also a very accomplished scrabble player as well which is not surprising so it's five crab 13 no but there's a but there's a four in there too I think it's this, right? Okay, so we're going to raid him. And if you are at all familiar with the game Babel Royale, you definitely want to follow this channel because this guy is an absolute monster. Definitely the top dog in this game right now. So um, with that, I'm going to send the raid over. And uh, yeah, thanks again, everybody, for the good vibes all stream. And we'll be back Thursday again with Josh Sokol, Axer Typo. God knows where he's going to be traveling the U.S., but he always takes time out to raid, uh, to stream and raid as well, but stream. So yeah, Thursday in his normal spot, he should be back on. So um, all right, Scrabble fans, see you then. <laughs>